short. So I'm only doing sort of 10 or so um, layouts per video. Now, this one was a layout that I did with little Gizmo when he was a little baby. And I cut out some bits and pieces. These are all hexagons and I used my Creative Memories punch for that. Added some bling on top and I think it's a really nice soft page. I absolutely love how it turned out. All of these videos have got a, all of these layouts have got a video that goes with, with them if you want to check out how I made them. Now, that's not quite out of shot, but you'll be fine. This one was my Queenslander page. I used a, a paint, I'm trying to think what it was called. I think it was a um, Art Alchemy paint in magenta and I used it on every single thing on here as well as game over on the stars and a little bit of gold glitter liquid um it's not liquid pearls it's it's not liquid pearls but it's in the same sort of bottle stickers so it's um gold stickles gold glitter that's what it is so luckily i can reach that from where i'm sitting doing these videos this one was my uh, migraine pain <laughs> one. It was actually quite interesting. The feedback on the video was amazing because everyone was like, it really looks like a migraine. <laughs> so it turned out really good. I really liked how that one worked. Lots of mixed media, lots of fun, lots of mess. Now this one was a little bit different for me. I don't normally, I, I do them sometimes, but not often. So I went through with my, I had an embossing folder. I embossed some stuff. I also used, I think I used a die for this and I went around and made little flowers out of it. It was, it's a really cute little way to sort of make a garden. And these are my branches that I use and I just put a little bit of ink on them using my mini blending brushes. So that was a really good one. This one was, I'm just making sure I don't have two page layouts. This one was just super simple. Went back into some creative memory stuff that I've had for years and pulled out a few sheets and decided to create a layout with it. A little bit of texture paste in the background with my all in create number 126 stencil. And I have to tell you, I love that stencil. I'm not a fan of it with the thicker texture paste though, because these stars are super tiny. But with the lunar paste, with the lunar paste, beautiful, crisp stars all the way. Love it. Now this one, okay. So this is actually a four-page layout. <laughs> so I'll just try and show you. So it goes like this in the album. If I scooch it over a little bit, not to hit my microphone. So it's like that in the album and then you can flip that either way, right? So that's got all my journaling on it about the holiday. And that's how, and I showed you in the video how I shrunk down my 12 by 12 plastic sleeve to fit my smaller size. So I just cut all that down. So I show you in the video how I do that and how I heat seal the edges of it, which is fantastic. I think it works really well. And yeah, so lots of texture paste. This is the Simple Stories collection of the year for me because they, they it's all the buzzy bees and it's the yellow and it's happy. And I just, I absolutely love this particular um, paper collection. It is stunning simple stories for the win yet again and you know what I never even used to look at the simple story stuff I never did and now I absolutely love them this one was a little bit different for me I wanted to create sort of a t-shaped layout and I just pulled out a, a photo that has actually been sitting in my collection for ages it's just been printed sitting there I didn't want to throw it out and waste it but I wanted to wait for a day that I wanted to create more about the background than about the actual photo if that makes sense even though it's my wedding day uh used a little bit of muslin on the background there 
I struggle to use that, but I have used it three or four times successfully. So I really liked how it sat on the background with all the stamping and with the stencil, uh, the texture paste through the stencil. I just love how it turned out. It was just gorgeous. You can see all the textures and fun. It's good when you can get it on an angle and you can actually see what I can see. So there, that's that's a better angle for it. It's really hard just doing it like that. You can't really see it. So this one is one that I was playing around with what to do with lunar paste and can you use it in all different ways. So I used it with a stenciling brush through a stencil, which is the large hexagon is a dark room door stencil. I also used the lunar paste through the stencil, literally scraping it through the stencil and to create some raised up bits and stencil paste there. I also used the smaller one, the smaller hexagon, and I did the same processes on there. But when it came to the hexagons here, I actually heated it up to the point that it bubbled and blistered sort of thing. And it's given really cool texture. It feels awesome. My kids love when they look through my albums, feeling the different textures, because you can feel that through the page protector, which is really cool. I also did some stencil, uh, some lunar paste spread thinly, and I put a stamp through it. That worked a treat. I did it down there and up there. And then, of course, I did some extra stamping in my VersaFine Black, and I put a little bit of clear embossing powder over the top of it just to give it a little bit of added oomph. So just so just to show you if you spend your money on lunar paste, you can actually do multiple things with it. You don't have to do it all in one layout, but you can do lots of different techniques with it. This one here is one where I wanted to go rainbow crazy and I pulled out one of my, um, this was actually, a thinlet Sizzix thinlet stencil uh not stencil I keep, I've got stencils on the brain um it was a thinlet die and I put it through over and over and over and over again <laughs> and I created all these to create all this yummy gushy texture and rainbow goodness and I absolutely love how that one turned out so that's, that's one of my favorites. I, I really like that page. It makes me happy. This one is where I'm using some of my P13 collection. I hoard that stuff big time. P13 for me is fantastic. I love their quality. It is amazing. Made in Poland. Um, so, yeah, it's I love it. And this is where I showed you how to create a nail head looking um nail head i guess using liquid pearls and your stanley knife so or your craft knife which worked a treat this one i smudged a little bit so it was a bit of a learning curve for me this was the layout where i realized i could create a really cool effect using vaseline that's the vaseline that i used it's the clear one and that's how I created these little speckles. So if it's something you're interested in, give it a crack, jump online and check out the video. This one is the last one in this video. This one was where I used my little iPhone, little iPhone brads. They are the ones that go all the way through that doesn't actually bother me at all these little iphones i actually got from scrapbook fantasies and i also got a couple of different brads some selfies and bits and pieces and i cut out this is a vicky Booten paper and i absolutely love how it all nestled in together and it was all sort of intertwined so there you go guys that is that video and i will be back with two more layout shares yet so lots of inspiration for you and they all have layout process videos for them if you want to check those out. Thanks for watching guys. Chat to you soon. Bye for now.